Hi. So we are so delighted to be here today to talk about what is such a timely and important topic in society and in our profession. How we can move more women into leadership positions in PR. Because here's a fact. The PR industry is made up of 75% women, yet just 20% occupy the top jobs. We know a lot about why, those factors that might be impacting female representation in senior roles. Those are things like unconscious biases, reduced likelihoods to receive promotion, work-life fit. But what's less defined is the how how we can see better and quicker progress, specifically in our industry. Um, as one of our focus group participants said, if we don't fundamentally change what we've been doing, we'll continue to do the same or we won't move at the rate that we should. So we set out to speak with men and women in our industry to hear their views on skills and experiences the rising generation of women can seek, what support mechanisms from current leaders, companies, and the industry might help create the best, most diverse workplaces. So what we did is, this is one part of a two-part study, and this first part we did focus groups, and we did 10 focus groups, um, and they were a mix separately of women and men, meaning women were in a focus group, men were in a focus group, and we did 10 of those with mid and senior level um, women and men who were also individual. The, uh, and they were CCOs, agency heads, um, nonprofits, mid-level, uh, wide range. And uh, we, we are gonna talk about each of the areas that we discussed. And then next what we're doing is we're doing a survey, a quantitative survey, to really dig into some of the areas from the, um, the focus group results, but also to dig into what some of the research is saying about um, maybe um, challenges, but also opportunities. Uh, because our goal is really to make the industry better and stronger. Um, part of our mission um, through this project is to create a roadmap of practical actions that women and organizations can take um, to position women um, for leadership roles. Um, so, you know, that's going to be rolled out after we receive the um, quantitative piece of this project. But um, in the meantime, there are a few takeaways um, that we wanted to share with you. Um, one is that we um, have a collective res uh, responsibility and opportunity. Um, to address potential pay gaps in our industry. Um, one way to do that as companies and, and, and as individuals um, is to increase transparency across our industry. Um, um, and that comes with knowing your worth, right? Um, having conversations about compensation with peers, with mentors, <laughs> visiting sites like Glassdoor, um, PR industry surveys that talk about um, compensation so that you have a better idea of how to have informed conversations um, when it comes time um, and to learn how to negotiate really effectively. Um, also, legislatively on this topic, we're catching up as a society. So in many states, including in um, New York through the uh, Equal Pay Act, um, employers are required to have a, a, a range for each job that they post. So that's really important to know. And employers also cannot ask um, potential hires about what they're currently making. So um, everybody who is in the position, all job seekers have the opportunity to um, reach for the number that they want and to ask for it. Um, another takeaway is that current leaders must really prioritize action. Um, so what that looks like is to um, not only talk about diversity goals, but to make sure that in their hiring processes and, and in their s staffing of their teams, um, that they are taking action against those goals. Um, and finally, another um, big call to action that we heard from the men and women we spoke to was that it's important for us to get everybody together as an industry, um, to have an open dialogue. This isn't just a conversation um, that should be had between women in our um, profession, that this is something that we should all come together um, and keep a dialogue open. Um, and so we hope that through this project, this is just one of the steps to do that. 